Hi everybody and welcome to Ask My Tablet, the show where you send in the questions and I ask my tablet. That's the way it works. We've got enough for today and we've already got seven more questions for the next one. Sorry it took me a little while to do it, but it's been real busy lately. Um, I want to go over our giveaway in this video because I'm, I'm trying to uh, let everyone know about the the Valentine's Day giveaway um, certain people just watch certain videos like I've said in the in some of the others and that is totally fine with me and so I want all the ones that watch ask my tablet to know about our giveaway um, it's a hashtag Valentine's Day giveaway uh, the rules are you must be subscribed uh, you must be 18 or older to enter uh, it's only available in the US I'm sorry about that it's a it's a pretty, you know, big package. Um, in your comment, put hashtag Valentine's Day giveaway, all one word to enter. Uh, YouTube has nothing to do with my giveaways. Um, special thanks to Jeff's famous beef jerky for uh, sponsoring this. If you'd like to see the prize pack, look for Logan's Awesome Snack Review Special Edition video that I did a couple days ago, or we did, um, where we tried the new uh, cinnamon bun bacon jerky. Uh, we did a review of it, and we showed all the things uh, from Jeff's famous beef jerky that we're giving away. Five packs of beef jerky. And there's a ball hat, a baseball hat, and there's a box, a nice collector's box. Um, you think what all uh, there's a a coaster, there's a magnet, there's a tea ball that I put in there, and a couple emergency whistles I put in there. I always throw them in on the giveaways. Um, I I think that's it. I'd ha I have you know I'd have to have it with me to be sure, um, but I think that's it in it. But that's great and it's worth quite a bit. Um, you know, just the beef jerky alone is worth worth quite a bit so definitely if you haven't entered um, please do and you have a chance to win okay let's let's get going here on our questions you get a drink of water first it's been raining all day today at least it's not snow okay this one is two of them here from Ruth Gordon. Alexa, when did Betty Crocker first come out? Here is what I found. According to fandom, Betty Crocker first appeared in page 1618. Huh? Well, she first came out in page... <laughs> what? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to do. That doesn't sound like, I mean, it sounds like a, a book in a book. <laughs> when did Betty Crocker? When did they first use Betty Crocker, maybe? <laughs> Alexa, when did they first use Betty Crocker? Here's something I found on the web. According to Insider.com, the name Betty Crocker was a fictitious name created to personalize responses to consumer inquires about baking that were flooding the flour milling company, the Washburn Crosby Company, back in 1921. Got it. Just had to change the question a little bit. 1921. Wow, she's been around for a long time. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Alexa, what state in the United States is the hottest? The state with the warmest normal average temperature in the United States is Florida at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> okay. And here's some from... I can't see good with that one. Right? Nancy Neiman. A couple of them. Alexa, who invented Velcro? Velcro was founded by George de Mestrel on January 1st, 1957. Wow, I didn't know it had been around that long. Really? That, that's surprising. How about this one? Alexa, 
Who invented zip ties? Here's something I found on the web. According to Avalogic.com, the zip tie was invented by an electric company named Thomas and Betts under the name Tie Wrap. Tie Wrap. Okay, here's one from the TCG family. Alexa, what is the number one food served at Super Bowl parties? Here's something I found on the web. According to reference.com, vegetable trays are the most popular Super Bowl party food, states NPD Group, an independent market research firm. Wow, vegetable trays. You know, I mean, they're, they're good. I love to dip vegetables and dip, but I never even thought that would be in the running for the number one. Wow, okay. I just learned something about that. And here's one from Critica Saren. Alexa, where do you get the best French fries? I can't search by that, but I found a few options for that. Petro's Chili and Chips, <laughs> Johnson City. 1.4 miles away on North State of Franklin Road. Mm, Petros. Petros Chili and Chips. 1.8 miles away on North Rome Street. KFC. 2.1 miles away on North now. Rome Street. Panda Express is right. They got Panda Express down here. It's right next door to Petros. And Pals is on the other side. That's where I would go. Um, I don't know what to say. Where do you... Um, what are the best French fries, maybe? Alexa, what brand is the best French fries? Hmm. Alexa, what is the most popular fries in the world? Try one more time. Here's something I found on the web. According to Wontanoit.com, French fries, also known as chips, are one of the most popular fried foods in the world. Did that answer your question? Not really, but... <laughs> Thanks for your feedback. I can't get her to tell me who has the best French fries, Critica. <laughs> Sorry about that. How about uh, YC Cooks and Bakes has several here. Alexa. Are nurse sharks prone to biting humans? Here's something I found on the web. According to fandom.com, they have been known to bite people who are swimming in areas where they live. Okay, so I take that as a yes. Put something out there. Okay. Alexa, why did Iceland close their only three McDonald's? Here's something I found on the web. According to latimes.com, Iceland's three McDonald's restaurants, all in the capital, Reykjavik, will close next weekend as the franchise owner surrenders to falling profits caused by the collapse in Iceland's currency, the krona. So nobody is eating there. Wow. Because the collapse of their currency. Hmm. Okay. Of, what is that? Oh, I can't even read my own. Okay. Alexa, is baking soda capable of burning human skin tissue? Here's something I found on the web. According to reference.com, although caustic soda is not a systemic toxin, it is however extremely corrosive and can cause severe burns to body tissues. Hmm. Caustic soda, I guess that's what it is. I don't know. She didn't say baking soda, she said caustic soda, but I don't know. Okay. Alexa, what's the difference between regular paprika and smoked paprika? According to Wikipedia, paprika is a spice made from dried and ground red peppers. It is traditionally made from capsicum annuum varietals in the longum group which also includes chili peppers, but the peppers used for paprika tend to be milder and have thinner flesh. OK. 
case you didn't seem to really answer it, how, let me ask this. Alexa, how do they make smoked paprika? Just curious. Okay, for smoked paprika, here's a few recipes. Recipes? I just said, how do you make it? No. She didn't even do the recipes either. Okay. How is it manufactured? Alexa, how is smoked paprika manufactured? Here is what I found. According to PrecisionNutrition.com, smoked paprika is made by drying peppers over smoking oak wood. Mmm, so there's your difference. I mean, the way it's made. I like smoked paprika. I didn't know it was uh, oak. Okay. Alexa, how many dialects of Italian language are in Italy? Here's something I found on the web. According to CourseHero.com, there are a number of dialects of the language spoken in the country, including Sardinian, Friulian, Neapolitan, Sicilian, Ligurian, Piedmontese, Venetian, and Calabrian. Okie dokie, how do they understand each other hardly? Okay. Alexa, what is the most expensive state in the USA for an average family to reside in? Here's something I found on the web. According to reference.com, an analysis by the Tax Foundation named the District of Columbia as the most expensive place to live in the United States in 2014, while Mississippi ranked as the cheapest place to live. Well, they hadn't, they, since 2014, it might be different by now. I doubt it, though. D.C. is an expensive place. Okay. Alexa, what is the largest province in Canada? The largest province in Canada is Nunavut, which is 787,154 square miles. <laughs> wow. Then Quebec is 595,000. Northwest Territory, 520,000. Ontario, 516,000. And British Columbia, 365,000. Wow. Okay. What is the most? Okay, Alexa, what is the most widely used chemical to clarify drinking water in the United States? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, Chlorination is currently the most widely used water disinfection method, although chlorine compounds can react with substances in water and produce disinfection byproducts, DBP, that pose problems to human health. So most highly used disinfection and react with substances water and produce. I, you know, if that's in the tap water, that's another reason I probably don't want to drink it. And that's why I try to, you know, sometimes I have to water the garden with the hose out there. You can't do anything about that. But uh, I try, like for the indoor plants and when I'm growing my plants indoors for the, to transplant in the garden, I let the water sit in jugs, milk jugs, for, for like 48 hours. I try to for at least 48 hours, so a lot of that will dissipate in it because it is not good for your plants and like i said when it's hot and it's not rained out there for a while i have to use a hose which i can't do anything about but it wouldn't it doesn't hurt them you know every now and then if i do it over and over you know where there's no rain for a long period of time i can tell the difference in my plants out there actually okay that's a good question okay uh joy this is from joy my joy alexa how tall is the Empire State Building? The Empire State Building is 1,250 feet tall. Okay. That's pretty tall. Okay. This is one from Logan. Alexa, what's the best-selling Little Debbie snack cake? One moment. Showing results for Little Debbie snack cakes. <laughs> the first one is Little Debbie snack cakes. Fancy cakes. And a top search result on Amazon. She's not it's rated four point two stars by more than three hundred ten customers. So that's it. <laughs> that must be it then, huh? 
Here's one from P. Bunny McKenzie. Alexa, what is the best type of yogurt to eat? Are you looking for yogurt? No, I just want to know what the best is. Sorry, I can't tell what you want to order. Please try again. Uh, let's see. How about most popular? Alexa, what is the most popular type of yogurt? One moment. Free grocery delivery hasn't come to your area yet, so I added yogurt to your shopping list. <laughs> I can't get her to tell me. <laughs> um, what is the number one yogurt? <laughs> Alexa, what is the number one yogurt in the United States? Here's something I found on the web. According to YBX950.com, Chobani is recognized as the number one selling strained Greek style yogurt in the United States. Chobani is really good. It really is. But it's not, I'm, I'm guessing it's Greek because, you know, there's like a people are trying to be healthier and the Greek is, is better for you, it seems like. I'm not for sure of the details right now. I've just heard Logan talking about it. Okay, and Logan, he knows a lot about nutrition and stuff. He really does. He, he, uh, oh, here's the little Debbie thing. <laughs> he used to, uh, he watched Dr. Oz for years and took notes every day. Okay, little Debbie cakes, number one, snack cakes, fancy cakes, fancy cakes, thirteen ninety seven, zebra cakes, twenty one seventy seven. Uh, then little Debbie fancy cakes again twenty three ninety nine. You can't really see that. She sent me a list, I guess. <laughs> okay. Here's some uh, from Vicky G. I couldn't get them all on here, Vicky. The rest of them are on the the next one. Uh, for what does that say? For, uh, okay. Alexa, what country has the world's deepest swimming pool for diving? Here's something I found on the web. According to NPR.org, Dubai sets world record with deepest diving pool at 196 feet deep. Deep Dive Dubai has set the record for the deepest diving pool. Wow. I can't imagine what that pool looks like. <clears throat> That's crazy. All right. Alexa, who is known as the light of Asia? Here's something I found on the web. According to Blurtit.com, former and first Indian Prime Minister late Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru is called as light of Asia. All right. Now the last one. I spelled that wrong. Okay, Alexa, which archaeologist discovered the intact tomb of King Tut? Here's something I found on the web. According to CA.gov, King Tut's intact tomb was first discovered by British archaeologist and Egyptologist Howard Carter in 1922. And, you know, there's a story that goes along with that. I've, I've seen things on uh, King Tut that there was a curse you know, and a lot of the people that went in there uh, died not long, not real long afterwards. Let me see. I wonder if she would know anything about that. What would I say? How many, how many people died from King Tut's curse? Alexa, how many people died from King Tut's curse? Here's something I found on the web. According to history.com, more than a dozen deaths have been attributed to the curse. But studies have shown that those who entered the tomb on average lived just as long as their peers who didn't enter. Okay, yeah, I saw a story about it, uh, like a documentary about it. And it was kind of weird. They died, like one died from some kind of bug bite, you know, and just kind of crazy stuff, different stuff that they died from. Let's see if we can get her to sing a song. Alexa, can you sing... Is she? I might have to turn this off and on. 
because last time it wouldn't, uh, I'll put refresh. Last time it wouldn't because I hadn't turned it uh, off in a few days or restarted it. And then as soon as I restarted it, she did it. I don't know why it makes a difference, but it does. But uh, this has been a good one. There's only been a couple. The one that she didn't kind of didn't answer. The one is uh, the one from Critica. Where do you get the best French fries? I haven't tried those new ones at Wendy's yet. They're supposed to be good. And then the one, what was it? I think it was Logan's, the little Debbie thing she didn't really say. Okay, let's see if she'll do it now. Alexa, sing me a song. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. You're what happened? Out at the old Come on. Stuff's popping up on it. Stuff for popping up from Messenger and stuff like that on it. I probably should set this on Do Not Disturb. I'll do it using it. Okay, that's great. I haven't ever heard her uh, sing that one. How about a couple jokes? Alexa, tell me a joke. How many campers does it take to light a lantern? One to pour the fuel, another to pump the tank, a third to light the match, and a fourth to say, forget it, just get a flashlight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did the zombie become a hypnotist? They preferred their brains washed. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody, that's going to be it today for Ask My Tablet. I hope you enjoyed it. Get your questions in in the comments so we can do the next one. Like I said, I've, I used 20 questions, and um, I've already got seven, so we just need 13 more to be able to do it again. And uh, if you haven't watched it, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and watch future ones, everyone. Uh, I've actually been doing this now for... Probably at least two and a half years. And uh, it's always fun and interesting. I learn something every time. And I, a lot of you, I hear a lot of you say the same thing. It's good to learn. Keep that mind turning. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please press that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share this with somebody today. Share, 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 share. All right, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll be seeing you later on. You know I will. Bye, everyone, and God bless.